Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we'll talk about jQuery bind and unbind event handlers. So, firstly, guys, I'll make two buttons here. Input type of button, and I'll give it a value of start jQuery effect, and I'll give it the ID of b1, and I'll make one more button. So I'll copy it. And I'll paste it. Now I will hit stop jQuery effect and I'll give it the ID of 2. And guys, uh, I'll make a div tag here. So I'll write div dot 1. I'll give it a class of 1. Now I'll set the CSS of this class. So I'll write, I'll give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 120 pixels and a background color of red and color of white. Firstly guys I'll open the browser. Guys you can see two buttons here. Guys what I will do when I click this start button start jQuery effect then it will apply some jQuery effect to this div tag and when I click this stop jQuery effect then it will remove the uh, then it will remove the applied jQuery effect from this div tag. So for that guys, uh, we'll go to external jQuery file. So all right. Firstly, I'm creating uh, a event for this first button. So I write b1 dot click. Means when I click this button, then I'll make a function here. Firstly, I'll change the text of this div tag. So I write one dot text put your mouse over here to to hide it so just uh, let's test it when I click this I can say put your mouse over here to hide it when I put my mouse over here it will be hidden so We'll use a bind event here. So I'll write one dot bind means add some effect here. So guys, it takes two parameters. Firstly is event which you want from home. So I write mouse over and then function. So when I put my mouse over this uh, div then it will be hidden so this dot hide four seconds so refresh guys when I hover my mouse over here nothing will happen so when I click this button now you can see jQuery is applied to this div tag when I hover my mouse over here it will be hidden now guys what I want to do when I click this it is showing put your mouse over here to hide it but uh, I want to stop this jQuery effect so when I click this stop button it will be stop this effect it will remove this effect so now I'll create a event for second button so I write hash b2 dot click means when I click this second button stop jQuery effect so I write dot click function firstly I remove this event which is applied on this div tag so I write one dot unbind means remove the effect so I will write the name of that effect which we want to remove from this div tag so it will remove this effect and I write some text here so I write dot one dot text alright this will not work now so refresh when I click this button hover my mouse over here it will be hidden now again click this button when I hover my mouse over this div tag it will be hidden but I want to stop this jQuery effect so when I click this stop jQuery effect it will not work it will not work now my mouse is over this div tag but it is not uh, applying some jQuery effect to it so guys this was about jQuery bind and unbind event we were binding a event 
when we were clicking first button and we were unbinding uh, that effect from that div tag. So guys, if you have any question in your mind, then you can leave a comment below. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see you in the next tutorial.